No Corvette this time around. The first time since 2000 that we've not seen a Corvette. And they were originally entered into the race for June the 13th and 14th. But after the year has played out with the economic crisis and the restrictions, it just became too difficult to fit in around their IMSA program, which is their main program. And of course, no Ford GTEs this year as well. Yeah, we've got news from the pits, Tom, about the Cinetech Alpine. It seems like there's a water leak. They've been bleeding the water system. Of course, they're pressurized. Uh, they've been add adding uh, water. So let's see what happens there. It's not what you want is a leaking car this early in the Le Mans 24 hours. Louise. I was just going to say, the pit lane is going to miss the sound of those Corvettes, that's for sure. <laughs> they sound beautiful when they're, up, when they're up close to them. Questionable at five in the morning when you've <laughs> got a bit of a headache and suffering from sleep deprivation, but I know exactly what you mean. It, it's such an iconic sounding car. And when the Panos was entered as well in the top class and you had the Corvettes, it really did shake the ground and the grandstand as those cars rumbled up the start and finish straight. Very, very different now with the hybrid era, but certainly the Gibsons have a beautiful engine note. Nick yep. DeVries looking on there. It's always hard.